Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe you know please go ahead you know give a thumbs up share will be greatly appreciated and the video I'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey Oka's facing the unseen battle a lot of times we're going through some stuff y'all oh Jesus y'all y'all see I'm in my room today I did not feel like dragging none of my stuff into my dining room <laughs> I just I was like too lazy to do it today I said let me go ahead I'm gonna just go ahead and do my stuff in my room because I'm not doing too much today but um you know we're all facing an unseen battle you know there'll be a lot of different times that people just feel like you got it all together you know it's just like they act like they never have a bad day and it's just like you have absolutely no clue the battle that I face on daily you know just cuz you know I could be wearing you know it's like we we, t we tell people we don't want to wear a mask we don't wear a mask but it's just like certain things that we do put a mask on I'm gonna allow myself to say that because there'll be different battles you may be facing like you may be going to a vibration of a depression or it could be a time where you know maybe it's one of your family members anniversaries or you know something really went on in your life and you really trying to allow yourself to heal from these different things you know it doesn't take much for us to be distracted it don't take much for us to be in a depression you know things are not going the way it plans it just seems like you you may not be going through so you may be going through something you feel like you're never going to get out of it and these are the different things you, you it's the battle of the old and the new you know the positive and, and the negative you know the highs the lows the darkness and the light and these are the different things that you you know you can't touch these things you know you can't taste these things but you can definitely feel it you know and these are the different things that's going on you know right now it's like a lot of uh old old wounds is coming up you know seeing if you're still triggered there'll be different things where universe and god and the devil is using certain people out just to see if you know they know your weakness are they know uh different things you may be uh facing or different things that you you know that that, that can really just poke that sleep and bear out of hibernation and you know and it's just like why do i have to keep going through these things why do i have to keep facing these things you know i'm trying my hardest to live in my purpose and this is just like this is a part of your purpose you know we're going through you know so much where it can make you anxious it make you nervous it makes you scared you know um really feel like you're in the moments of defeat and, and not realize that something is so much bigger than you, you you can't even imagine you know and these are the different things where you're fighting a battle of you know getting out of that frequency you used to be in you know when you're working on that you putting the finishing touches on your masterpiece now we were work in progress for the last couple of years now you on that vibration of where you on the you're not you know you're you're putting the finishing touches on your masterpiece and these are the different things where you can actually sit back and just see how life unfolded for you even exactly if you're not where you want to be at but this is showing you how far you've come you know the different things that has really uh, took place in your life that is truly beneficial for you even when it was like the major setbacks even when it was just the call you know you weren't getting the callbacks or you know different things that wasn't you know coming out as planned and these are the things that was always a part of the plan it's just like you know just to see if they can put you on a um on a uh, uh, a path of where you're you're trying to think you know I said this in a different video that universe and God will put you on a, on on a um project within your life and you know you really getting into it you're really trying your all because it, you could be that type of person I'm, I never finish the things that I start you know but it's like this situation I'm going to go ahead and give it a, you know I'm going to go ahead and give it a try I'm going to put my best at it and this is like this is you know what uh, you know not your best at it like okay I did it um, you know I tried I, I just can't but when you allowed yourself to try all avenues when you allowed yourself to even take um different um ex critiques f about doing those different things and you actually tried that but it was just like even when you went so many different ways you just weren't getting it you weren't feeling it it wasn't something that was bringing life into your life it wasn't like everything and then it would just be you know you, you just sitting to yourself and you're just telling god universe you know i really tried you know um but I learned so much but it was just like I, I'm just not into this you know I, I've tried it I, I just can't but it was just like you just 
you just don't real hold on y'all that was something that, that was out my room. hold on just a second sorry about that y'all or it'll be different avenues that you're really trying to invest in and it's just like you know what this is something i'm not feeling this is something i'm not really into it's not my thing and then the universe is like it's going to tell you like did you catch what we put down in that situation and be like what are you talking about even though you didn't like it look at the situation you you are allowing yourself to um you know allow yourself to sit here and put this up and allow yourself to go ahead and you know go for it you allowed yourself to see how committed you were to it you were very you know determined to be able to get this even when you weren't sure about it you know don't see how this was uplifting to you you know it was it was just something that you really weren't hunger for but then you see that you were determined about that you didn't quit you know even though you quit after you you know you did everything you possibly could to be able to produce something out but it wasn't but there was just that that was that that light you know that silver lining in the cloud it was just telling you see look how you you know you found out so much about yourself just because you tried different situations you allowed yourself to take you know different advice about certain things to be able to do and you allowed yourself to go to that next step and these are the different things that was showing you like wow this is what it is because maybe you're that type of person that procrastinates maybe you're that type of person that don't believe into yourself maybe you're that type of person that is hard for you to get out of that negative vibration you may you may be a pessimist um and then there'll be different things that's going on i know i watched a video yesterday that was very you know it was like gosh you know went on like they were talking about the group high five from back in the day you know anybody knows you know you r and b person you know uh it was like high five back in the day i forgot it was like all those that yeah, h town you know uh god dog i forgot it was like h town and uh, I forgot different groups like that. You know, it's like my mind is off of it right now. But it was like so many different. I mean, I did not know almost the whole group done passed away already. Even the dude, the 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 main lead singer, I didn't know he had passed away. But it was like all the rest of them. You know, it was this one guy, and I can't remember his name. Um, God forgive me for that. But it was like at a point where you know he was missing his his band members. He was you know all these different things was happening, and um. He was, uh, you know, he really wanted to go back in music and he had a son that he, you know, he was trying to take care of, but he really didn't have a passion for anything except for what it was in music. And it was just like the, uh, there was only like, I think one or two, uh, band members left cause one just passed away, uh, a month or two ago. Um, and, uh, the other, there was one, in, I think the one that was in jail and then the other, I think it was like, you know, the other two or the other, yeah, it was like one or two of them or something like that, uh, had already passed away. So he was like really stuck in, um, depression. And when that happened, I think he moved to Connecticut or New Hampshire or something like that. And he was outside a club and it was like a drive by and he, you know, he was already going through a major set, uh, you know, depression. And then what happened is, even though he got hit five times in the chest, and I was like, oh God, please don't tell me he passed away too. He actually survived. And I said, you know what? This is going to be that eye opener for him. And exactly, that's exactly what he said. He said, that was a blessing that this happened. And you wouldn't think, it's like, shoot, you, dude, you got shot up in front of a club. And he was just like, but this was that eye opener for me that I still had a life to live. And a lot of times we don't realize those battles that we're facing, whether it's like, mental issues you know forgiveness depression you know thoughts you know when you're ready to just a lot of things will lead you into experience to be able to see the better perspective the bigger perspective in life you know even though you may be in the darkness a lot of times that darkness is exactly where you need to be to be able to show you that light was always around you you know even when you're constantly facing storms just being able to show you you are that sunlight and these are the different things that take place into your life to where you're really trying to get an understanding out of it. You're really trying to, you know, heal and where you're trying to heal. You're trying to understand why does it always have to be so complicated? Why does it always have to be so hard? And these are the things like if, if we didn't have to deal with complication, we didn't have to deal with adversity, diversity, you know, um, hardship, struggle, you know, some kind of uh, a tragedy. We really wouldn't know where our strengths were. We really wouldn't know where we're determined to get over the hump. It's so easy for people to fall back and get into um 
different things after something happening like it can get a lot worse you know there's you know different things that will happen where people fall into substance abuse or you know where it comes into that point where you know somebody ends up not wanting to be here and speed up that appointment to go see God you know and those different things but sometimes those exact situations that you're put in will give you something that make make you feel like life is really worth living you know I had to go through this this wake-up call for me to get out of the trouble that I'm getting in you know you may be that person that you know you in and out of jail you constantly finding yourself in situations you're danger prone you know all these all drama keeps on magnet you know being gravitated towards you and it may be that one thing that one thing that gets you in a situation that places you on a um on a um situation where it puts you on a positive format for that you know and it was like another example I was watching um I forgot what the guy's name is and I mean when I heard it it, it just really hurt my heart um and it was a crime show I was watching it was like something that was going on like three four o'clock in the morning and I guess it was just like a, a, a three-person hit you know where they were no longer living and the guy he was autistic um I don't know if it was I don't think it was verbal but it was, I don't know what, it was very, he was autistic, you know, he was on the spectrum. And um, he told his mom, he's like, hey, I'm going to go outside and see what happened. And she was like, baby, don't go out there. She's like, mom, it's okay. I'm going to just go see what was going on, what happened. Because it was like a whole bunch of police cars. And he was out there. And then it was the next thing you know, I don't know how it happened, but there were he was just like, oh, I think I know the person that was in the house. Or I knew the person that was doing that. And just for him saying that, and they can tell you know that he he was special needs you know he had you know um he was on the spectrum and they can see that and just for that happening they played that into that part and so it was just like I guess they were wanting to take him down to the station for questioning mind you he was home this whole time and he just went outside to be nosy and then it was just like you trying to be not nosy but just be curious about what happened me it was like shoot I'm being nosy I'm trying to see what happened you know after the fact I ain't about to go out there when all this stuff is going on but it was the fact that the police officers came there since he was underage I think he was like 14 15 years old you know you can't question nobody's child without you know their permission or without a lawyer and they see, you know, he, the, the grandparent told him, yeah, you can go ahead and take him down there. You know, I guess she didn't know what was going on. So she's like, yeah, you can take him down there. Next thing you know, they're feeding him the information. They're feeding him the information and they're telling him exactly, you know, oh, did you do this? You know, this person was here. This person was there. This person is there allegedly from what they had said. And next thing you know, when all these different things has happened, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I did this. I did that. This boy ended up. You, he ended up signing a confession to something he never did and it, it was like this is not the first time I heard about the situation but it was the first time I heard it from this side of you know this side of the story you know I didn't hear the whole story that was going on but next thing you know they actually had the, the boy had actually spent nine years in prison for something he never did you know even though it, it was just like the way that he said it you know and he drew it out and then he signed it and it was just like oh well this is his and then I guess they were doing some different evidence you know like wait a minute this ain't even his writing you know they just it was somebody who drew out a paper saying this is where you know body A was body B and body C you know for example that's how allegedly how it was and then the next you know the boy signed it and then if it just wasn't for the hit man being prideful it wasn't the fact is he was just like oh he didn't do it but it was the fact is he's like no nobody ain't gonna take credit for my my work no no i did that you know and he was just like there was certain things that the hit man was sitting up here saying that there was no way that that boy found out because the boy was just like you know saying yeah to everything but he just didn't know what kind of gun it was and you know that he didn't sell him that but he was just saying yeah I do this and this and this and that and they were asking the guy he was like oh I use an AR-15 or whatever and you know he's like so why did you decide to turn yourself in he's like I just had a baby I don't need to be on the run like that and it was just like you know um I don't need to constantly be looking over my shoulder but I'm telling you about these things. you know I guess he did about five or six different hits but it was like the one that that boy sit up here and confessed to say he did he didn't say oh I did this on such and such street and he was like wait a minute what 
And he was like, I did it on such and such street. The boy that's taking the credit for that, I'm telling you, he did not do that. I worked on that by myself. He did not do that. But it was just the fact is that was God's blessing that he went through that. And it was just the fact with that boy, I, I mean, I cried because the fact is I've been in jail for some stuff that I didn't do. It wasn't no nine years. Thank God it wasn't. But it was just the fact is I seen how I got into a situation, even though that was my karma coming back to me, that what I didn't get caught on in back of the day. But I ended up catching it for this situation that I didn't do. You know, so I knew about situations like that where I just really didn't care for the off, you know, Johnny Law. I just really didn't care for him. There's some good ones out there, but there's also some bad ones out there. But it was just the point is I really took that personal because I knew exactly how situations like that was. But it was just the fact is the scary thing is that boy was on the spectrum and they played into that. But that boy sit up here and said where he hit his ego and his pride like, no, nah, he ain't taking credit for this. I did that. I will sign a confession. I will sit up here and tell you exactly what I did, how I did it, what I used, where where were certain things that there ain't no way of anybody knowing, and he doesn't know. He didn't do that. That boy didn't have nothing to do with this situation. But the whole point is, that man said something. I think I, I uh, not to get me the line. I don't know if he said it like the first year. The boy was convicted for that. But then it was just like they caught him on something else, you know, the hitman for something else. And he's telling you, hey, I did that. I did this on such and such street. That boy didn't do that. But they had that boy sitting there for a whole nine years on something he didn't do. And he went back and he told them he didn't do it. So the next thing you know, I don't know if the boy got paid money and I hope the heck they did. But it was just the fact is... You know, it took something like that to happen. And they were like, well, did they apologize to you? Did they do a public apology? And it was nothing like that. But I think the officers that was involved in the situation got fired or something like that. But it was like, they need to go ahead and compensate him for every daggone year that that boy done lost his, you know, you know, he done lost, he lost time he couldn't get back. You know, it's like his mom got married, his sister graduated, she went to prom, all these di different things he would have loved to see. And then the reporter asked him, "Is like, are you mad at them? How you feel? And he was just like, I don't want to be seen as a victim. You know, because they got different takes of, you know, when he got tackled by five or six people where his arm almost got broke. They were beating the mess out of him saying that he was suicidal and stuff like that. And it was, you know, they were his, you know, the sister said she seen it and she was really upset. And she was like, Mom, you sure you want to see that? She's like, I don't really think you would because it, it, it hit me in my heart to see my brother, you know, begging for them to get off of me, wouldn't do it. And it was like, you know, if you see different jail shows, you see how they come in with all that armor. And it was like about six to seven of them on him because he was really tall. But this boy had been in there, you know, since he was 14 years old and nine years down you know nine years down the line but he was just like i want to help people and he started a new foundation for that and he was just like you know his mom just cried and she said you know i wish i wouldn't have you know um i wouldn't have uh allowed my son to go outside i told him not to go outside and it was just the you know they said well how was he able to get convicted and it was like the lawyer that they had said if he went ahead and did this it would be a lighter sentence because he already confessed to it and they went ahead and went that way because she didn't know the law in that kind of way so she's never been in any issues like that and it was just like you know she felt guilty for that and her son was like mom don't feel that way this was a part of my purpose and you know when I'm saying that I'm just you know even me talking about it get me all up in my feels but it was just like he said this was my purpose if I never went through this I wouldn't know how to help somebody else you know yes I have nightmares about different things like that but it it was my purpose to help other people in a reform situation or different kids that I see this going down the wrong path this could happen to you because it's like listening to his story remind me of uh, I think his name was Khalif that went through that situation in the Bronx and he ended up you know he ended up taking his life because it was just like being in Rikers they say Rikers is the worst you know prison in New York and he was in there for I think three years you know and when he went through that and it was just like even when he was out he was like he was paranoid he you know being in big spaces was very different for him you know he would be outside you would walk outside and he would just walk a square you know they're like what are you doing he's like i'm walking the wall and he's like you don't have to do that well this is what i did when i was in rikers this is all i did you know and that boy was robbed of innocence and so it was just like hearing that story that reminded me of what khalif went through but it was just the fact is 
through his situation he was able to bring out some kind of positivity and even with the short period of time after Khalif got out he was able to help people because I know it affected Jay-Z um, uh, what was it John Legend and uh, Rosie O'Donnell you know they talked a lot about him you know they were really upset when they found out that you know he took his life but you know different things like this we're, we're dealing with a lot of unseen battles you know there's uh, a lot of things that we fight on depression every day you know um different things it's like especially right now with the conjunction going on it's like everything is amplified so it, it's just like you're dealing with this unseen battle of where you're trying to allow yourself to be stable you're trying to you know do everything you can to be that best version of yourself it just seemed like you're not just battling yourself you're battling your past you're battling your wounds you're battling your triggers you're b battling things that you're ashamed of you're embarrassed of you know uh, other people you know different things like that and it just and, and then you're just you're all in your head you know and these are the different things where just for all those different things you just don't realize those are going to be the main factors in your life that is really going to catapult you to really know where your light is, where your power is, where your strength, where's your endurance, your resilience, you know, um, and, and really get you towards that next level. And, and it's just like when you're going through all this different stuff, you don't know what other people are facing. You don't, you know, it, it can be hard when people place judgment on you or it, it could be a situation where you are that wounded dog and you're trying to get up and you have other people just steady pushing you down like you're not already going through something bad already as it is and it's just like you know when you are a strong person and a lot of times we second guess that because of the things that we go through you just don't realize from those situations uh, it shows you where your power is you know you know what you're dealing with and when you can allow yourself when you take yourself out of the equation and look at yourself from the outside and instead of inside out a lot of times look at the things that you're facing and look at, at how you're dealing with them you know accordingly how you're dealing with them on an everyday basis and even though you, you may be able to pull out your out, out of your head probably about five or six different negative situations about that one trauma that you're dealing with or that one obstacle or that one struggle or that one tragedy you you probably about five or six of them you got to think about that a person that is weak would have folded a long time ago a person that was weak would never be able to face that you know they'll find excuses instead of allowing themselves to face it you know and, and those are the situations where those type of people you are being that prime example of saying I face this I own this I'm allowing myself to give names to it but this is something I have no choice but to face. These are the things that I have to allow myself to overcome. I don't have a choice on those matters. It's either I can allow my 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 obstacles to eat me up or I'm going to eat up my obstacles. You know, it's showing me there there's a war. But I don't have to be that that warrior to always fight every other war. There are certain things that is not my 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 fight. There are certain things that are not my war, it's not my battle. You know, I've, I've not just carried my weight I carried other people's weight too you know I allowed myself to let other people define me I allowed other people's opinions to form me about how I am with me you know and all these different things you you know you, you can be in that type of example of this is what you're saying and not realize if it wasn't for these people telling me what I am I wouldn't you know what I'm not I really wouldn't know what I am you know or if I wouldn't allow you know if I wouldn't be bothered by people's opinions I wouldn't know for sure about myself what is fact you know and you're going through these things is really just showing you who you are to the core who you are beyond the illusions who you are where you can build up a solid foundation and when you're doing that you know you're facing a lot of things that and, and you know it, it'll get to that point where you're seeing a lot of different things instead of seeing it as an obstacle it was a blessing you know to persevere you know and there'll be a lot of different things that you're going through that so there was a lot of things that we're going through right now that we're facing maybe we don't talk about it and maybe we do you know those are, are the different things you know a lot of times we're like oh I'm okay I'm good knowing good and well after you, you turn your back you probably breaking inside you know 
And it's just the fact is you, you have to be able to keep telling yourself, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. Even if you got tears coming down your eyes, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. You know, I'm going to overcome these things. I'm not going to allow these things to dictate on how I make my next move. I'm going to use this as that fuel to go ahead and make that move. You know, there will be different things when you know that you're sure of yourself, that you, you really want a better life. You want to be in peace. You want to be happy. You, you know, you, you want to be in an element where you feel safe in. And when you're, when you're wanting those things, you're going to be determined to make sure those things come into play for you. Or if not, you're going to allow certain things that was built up as an illusion, built up as a distraction, to take you down. And these are the things that exactly it was built to do the exact opposite. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video. If you're going through, you know, different things in your life, you know, er everything's temporary. And a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to say that everything ha happens for a reason. We get tired of hearing that too. But it's going to be a moment into your life where when you're going to really see these different things that takes off into your life. And you're going to you're going to really appreciate those dark moments that led you to the light. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. I would love to give a post notification shout out to um, Farrah Hazard and Wallflower. Much love to you. And Jim Mack, much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, so good to have you. Please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you. I always leave my my contact information in the description box below. And, you know, it's all about spiritual networking, be able to help people. You know, a lot of people I help on one-on-one -on -one basis, you know, they don't feel comfortable with discussing what they, you know, they may be facing on the tube of you, which I totally understand. You know, I always tell people, hey, hit me up on the side. You know, I can be able to help out the best way I can. Spiritual networking, you know, be able to help you have a deeper understanding about your purpose and give you a broader perspective of what's going on and whatever we discuss is confidential you know i also leave my link to the uh to my um podcast on spotify as well and i leave um if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation there's also a cash app there too as well and you know if y'all been watching my videos for a while if you have not please go to the community section when you come on to my channel you'll be able to see that it says home video uh community playlist and about and when you see the community it has all my podcasts there it even has different funny memes on there different insight maybe it's something about how to empaths deal with uh uncomfortable environments you know what's looked for in toxic behavior what to do when you don't want to ghost people you know different um positive uh insight to be able to help you with those different things uh to be able to help you and it's just a lot of uh, uplifting positive uh quotes as well if you you know you're going through different things where it makes you really question your faith your belief and your patience so i hope you have a blessed weekend please be safe with everything that you're doing and please be responsible whatever you're trying to uh manifest into your fruition you know i'm sending so many beautiful uplifting vibes to be able to help help you um in that way um just to be able to you know bring extra into your life you know you truly deserve it and please stay consistent and persistent as well you know the, you know that will always try to convince you to give up today just because the fact is your blessings is coming in tomorrow you never know they always come in when you least expect it so stay persistent and consistent you'll see me on my next video much love to you peace